Hi, Sean Baker here, and this is my review on the Doc Martin, um, I think they call it Icon Industrial Strength Work Boot, Steel Toe Work Boot. So, um, before I show you the boot, I just want to do a little background on what I do. I drive a tractor trailer uh, tanker truck for a company that owns. Um, uh, a number of convenience stores and then we also have a transportation company where we deliver to um, a number of customers uh, the most being uh, convenience stores bulk plants farms um, uh, some quarries coal mines uh, so uh, the conditions that I work in uh, for you know nearly 12 hours a night uh, sometimes more uh, I'm outside, on my feet, in all type of surfaces, concrete, gravel, mud, and then in all types of conditions, snow, rain, sleet, ice. Um, so I need a work boot that's, that's going to be able to hold up. I also uh, periodically drive one of our tank wagon um, vehicles, which uh, for you in the northeast, uh, I think they call them home heat or home heating oil trucks which which we do as well for home heat um, but then a lot of smaller gas and diesel tanks that are 300 500 1000 gallons 2000 gallon tanks and then we also do unifill of heavy equipment which requires climbing on bulldozers high lifts uh, track hose and the like um, in the mud uh, in the ice and snow and, and um, it's nasty so uh, I need a work boot that's going to be able to hold up um, this time with these Doc Martens uh, for the first time I've been um, I, I went into the pull on work boot I've always had lace up Red Wings or Doc Martens um, and a lot of my buddies have been going to a pull on work boot um, and I wanted to try a pull-on work boot. I didn't want to pay a lot of money if I'm going to be experimenting with it um, because they're uh, close to $200 on the typical Red Wings and Ariats. Um, but uh, so I stumbled across this Doc Martin pull-on work boot. I didn't even know they had a steel toe work boot. Um, I'm familiar with Doc Martens because I had had Doc Martin boots and shoes, and I and I love that iconic, uh, you know, sole and the yellow stitching um, that goes with having Doc Martens. But I wasn't real familiar with uh, their steel toe work boot. Um, but uh, I did the reviews on it, and and it had good reviews. And the number one thing was they were like a hundred bucks, hundred and four dollars, I think, on Amazon, which is pretty cheap for a work boot. If you're if you're watching this, you. you you'll agree that $100 is nothing for a work boot. So I thought I'd try it out and see how it held up. So uh, I regret to say I didn't tape this before I started it, but it's been exactly one year since I've had these. And this is what they look like after one year. So uh, there's a little bit of paint. And then this is what the sole look like, looks like. That actually just broke out last week. We've been in sub-zero temperatures here, negative 10. Uh, negative 12 and that broke out last week so I have a new pair of work boots here that I'm going to do a separate review on but uh, this is what it looks like after a year so um, I've got to say I'm impressed with the upper um, it's it's held up great um, the upper part um, these um, scratches and stuff that are on the steel toe that's for me we have uh, hoses that we unload fuel with and I have a tendency to drop the hose and catch it with my toe but other than that uh, the uppers stayed um, in really good shape I oil them uh, periodically and put weatherproofing on them and that's been no problem now the tread on the other hand didn't hold up as well as what I would have thought. You can see I was trying to get to my symbolic year and I waited too long. Um, 
the tread really didn't hold up. Now, I will say that even though this is, is slick, um, that I, I wasn't sliding around uh, like I was on ice skates. And a lot of that can be attributed to I'm a big, heavy guy, and I literally and figuratively drag my feet a little bit, especially working long hours or work at night. And uh, so that can be attributed to that. But, uh, and then for the sole breaking, um, that's just happened last week. So uh, that's the way that one looks. The left one started to break a little bit. Um, and you can see the, the heel. I don't drag uh, my left heel as much as I do as my right heel. So, but like this one too, it held up, held up really well. So, um, the negatives on them, uh, they, they didn't quite make it a year. Uh, it, it's a year today, but um, I should have probably replaced them a month ago, at least. Um, but that's the one negative on it. The other negative is the break-in time. Of course, I wasn't used to a pull-on boot. I've always done lace-ups, and so a pull-on boot was a whole new uh, ball game for me. And the break-in time um, took about a month to where they were actually really comfortable. So, um, but once the break-in time was done, they, they were comfortable. And that's the positive that I'll say. They're, they're a comfortable work boot once you get them broke in. Um, that's the one positive on them. And the, the other positive would be um, the price. $104 is, is very good for a steel toe, good quality work boot. And if you're not as in, in rough as conditions as I am, they, they might hold up, you know, um, a year and a half, two years. But, uh, you know, I'm not so in love with them where I'd get them resold. You know, looking at different online companies to get them resold, they're 80 some dollars to get them resold. So they're a $100 boot, why would I uh, pay that? So. Uh, that's that. That's my review on it. The Doc Martin Airways um, steel toe work boot. Would I buy them again? Probably not. I didn't. I just bought a replacement pair of boots, which I'm going to do a separate review on. But um, you know, if you're a little short on cash and um, you want something uh, that's going to last a year or so, you know, give it a whirl. It might work better off for you than me, especially if you're not working in oil and uh, diesel and hydraulic fluid and ethanol and stuff like I do. So that's my review. Thanks. Have a good one and we'll see you on the flip side.